Hello, hi, how are you? I'm Robin, welcome back or welcome to my YouTube channel. This little world right here is Man For Himself. If you like hair product reviews, grooming, skincare, fragrance, and videos like this very one, then chances are you are going to love it around here. Please do press subscribe right now. Right, there is a right and a wrong way to wash your face. Alarm bells, there is. And I have seen, um, really at the gym, when you see guys have finished their workout, they've had their showers, they're then at the sink and they're kind of doing skin stuff wrongly. Um, I am someone who believes in doing things your own way. I'm not gonna say, don't use this type of thing, don't use this thing, but this is gonna help you, I promise. There are four things, that's five, four things that you can just tweak with the products that you're using in order to make this work for you. Now this video has been sponsored by Bulkhom. They're a Japanese skincare company with 14 different products, seven in the EU and three accessories. And I should say, although there is a brand sponsor in this video, these tips will work for anyone. It does not matter what you are using, but if you like the sound of the Bulkhom products, then there is a discount code, MFH25, is gonna get you 25% off their products. I will link it down in the description. Okay, first up is the type of product that you should be using. I started off in my skincare when I was probably about 18, I am 33 now, and I started with various different sort of like drugstore products, something from Boots, something from Superdrug, just trying out kind of what worked for me. And I used a lot of really sort of abrasive, heavy exfoliants, you know, stuff that really kind of broke everything down on your face. And it feeling really super soft and super smooth felt amazing. But technology and environmental factors have changed. Microbeads are no longer, microbeads, um, beads, beads, are little plastic balls that used to be in these exfoliants. They are no longer because they didn't break down and they caused issues in the environment. But there are still exfoliants that you might be using on your body, great, but not so much on your face, guys. These can cause micro tears. So micro tears really are where you're gonna get little rips in your skin, stuff you can't see, but it is there. And um, what you should be using is a really light cleanser. I've said this before, but if a cleanser is stripping your skin, if it's feeling squeaky clean, if it's feeling tight, stop using it and go for something different. And this one here from Bulk Home, you can get just a little bit of the cleanser, put it onto their bubble net, get it into your hands, really rub it, lather that up, and you can use it onto your face. Um, don't use the net on your face. Again, this could cause micro tears. You really just wanna be using that foam and that lather straight onto the skin. But this cleanser is light enough to use every day, morning and at night. It's gonna remove any sweat, any dirt, any pollution, any debris that's sitting on the skin. You do want to be using a cleanser twice, twice a day, morning and night. Okay. Secondly is the technique that you're using. Um, this one blows my mind because actually I used to do this. Get the product into the hands, onto the face and scrub, 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 down, up, down, up, down, up, really just like sanding at the face. Please don't do that. Um, I have watched back on some old videos of mine and I've gone like, oh God, Robin, what are you doing? Don't do that. Do not do that please don't do that, it hurts. And actually when I was filming that bit of the video, I stopped myself and I only did it for a few seconds. It, it Just no. Instead, use little circular motions into the face, onto the neck, onto the forehead, round the nose, behind the ears, onto the ears, down onto the chest, just circular motions. That's what you should be doing. Don't go at it. And again, use the right type of products that are not gonna strip the skin, okay? The third one is the amount of time to do it. This is not wax on, wax off. This is not just a case of splat it on, take it off. You wanna be spending time cleansing. I know I wanna be getting outside, I wanna be going to work, which is currently in my flat, but I just wanna be getting that done. But do take some time. Now, across like numerous publications and magazines, there was this whole like, I don't know if you saw this, in 2019, there was this whole like 60 second, one minute rule um, that dermatologists were saying to wash your face for. Do I wash my face for 60 seconds? No. Do I wash it for 30? Yeah, probably, sometimes 45. Um, I normally put like my conditioner onto my hair and then I'll get into that. But if it's at night, I'm just gonna be working in. Use it as a time to kind of switch off. Um, I like the brand philosophy of Bulk Home. It's all about 
simple, minimalist, but about creating a moment for your skincare. And I really love that. I think you can be getting the time in for your skincare. So really do take time, work it in, really have that moment to either recharge, get yourself moving for the day, or wind down. The fourth one is for you guys that think that when you're done washing your face, you are done with your skincare. I would say if you are washing your face, then you're doing more than a lot of men, honestly. Um, but you do need to go a bit further. Think about adding in other ingredients. Toners, toners for me is something that really is still relatively new for me, maybe a year, two max, six months really if I'm being honest. Um, serums, moisturizers, SPF is needed, but do get another product in. Now Bulk Home do have a great range of products. Again, I'll link it, MFH 25, 25% off, um, but you are gonna find products that are gonna do different things for you and your skincare. It should be personal from a toner, like their one here is gonna to help to get hydration into the skin. It's not gonna be sticky. Also, their ingredients that they use are plant-based, naturally derived, so there's nothing there that shouldn't be there. Um, and it's all about putting stuff that's gonna do something. Also, using a moisturizer, their one here, the lotion, is really light, easily absorbed. It's not gonna sit heavy on the skin. I'm someone that doesn't like a heavy cream. I'm sure a lot of you guys too are the same. I tend to get an oily T-zone, so I want something light, something really light that is not gonna give me any of that shine onto the skin. Um, so all of these products do that. Also, I'm not big on like talking about packaging, but I think the packaging looks great. You know, it just sits really nicely in a bathroom. It's sleek, it's minimal, it's just like bang on. So I think they've done a great job here. So guys, invest in your skincare, really think about what you're doing with that face washing, it's not just a case of you something abrasive, get it on, slap it up and down, up and down, wash it off and go. Think about just spending a little bit more time, create a bit of a ritual for yourself. I know time is at a premium, but enjoy it. Use the right products and you can check those out. But thank you very much for watching. Really hope you've enjoyed this one. Simple tips that we can all do. If you're still new to this, you've still not pressed subscribe, then please do hit subscribe right now. The button is there. So also more video suggestions down there. Stay with me and watch them. Um, head to manfromstuff.com, it's there. And there will also be more grooming videos up in the cards. But until my next new video, bye-bye.